Jimmy here with Progressive Performance, and today on our Technique Tuesday, we're going over a great exercise for those of you that get kind of bound up in your upper back uh, from sitting at a desk all day or driving kids around a bunch. Uh, maybe you just have kind of a hunched over posture, but this is really gonna help you to get some overhead expression and extend that upper back, what we call the thoracic spine, the T-spine. Um, it really feels great for a lot of our clients here at the gym, and let's get started. All right guys, so today again, we have Xander, our demo for the day, and we're gonna cue him through this exercise. Now, like I said, this exercise is gonna feel real good on your upper back, you're gonna get a little stretch through the lat and through the tricep, so let's get him started. Now, one key point before we jump into this is that he's not using a pad for his knees, but some of you guys are gonna need that because it's gonna feel a lot more comfortable with the pad because the ground can be a little bit hard, especially for those of you that have some knee pain, so keep that in mind when you're doing this exercise. So he's gonna be kneeling in front of a bench or a stool or anything that's kind of short like this, right? You can have a PVC pipe, that's what we got here. Uh, you can also use a broomstick or anything of that nature. The point of this is to keep your arms separated because when you do this exercise, your arms are gonna have a tendency to wanna to curl in because your upper back is gonna to want to stay rounded, okay? You're gonna place your elbows on the bench, okay? On the very edge of the bench here. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna, like, so Xander's in a good position right now, but you're gonna make sure that this, your lower back is a little bit packed in, right? So it's a little bit on the rounded side. You don't want it extended, so go ahead and extend your back there, Xander. You don't want it extended because we want the range of motion through the upper back, okay? This lower back's gonna move really easily. This upper back's not gonna move as easily, and that's why we get so bound up up here, okay? So, go ahead and get in position, perfect. Now what he's gonna do is he's just gonna push his butt back toward his heels, and he's gonna let his chest fall through toward the ground to get extension through the T-spine. He's getting a nice stretch through the lat, a nice stretch through the tricep, okay? So this feels really great. Go ahead and come up for me again. I'm gonna have him scoot his knees back just a little bit so he's in a little bit of a better position, okay? And he's gonna go ahead and sit back, get that extension, let that chest and head fall through, right? That feels real good, okay? And go ahead and come on back up. Now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna get, and get to, you're gonna wanna get to that end range of motion and hold for a couple seconds just to feel that position, okay? One more time, hold this bottom position, keep these hands spread out, Okay, you can go ahead and come back up for me. Perfect, you're gonna wanna do this for two to three sets of 10 before you start into an upper body workout. This will help you get overhead expression so you can do more overhead press type of movements and it's also gonna help you feel real good and get your back moving well. So, try this out and let us know how it goes.